There's two ways to be humbled, right? There's the humbling of God sorting out any ego that you had attached to it, and he makes sure you experience things where, no, 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 you're not the center of this story. Well, just the other night, we were playing at this fair, and you got done telling this big story before I have this hope. This is two nights ago. Right when you get to the chorus, I have this, and then right next door, they started the tractor pull. And it was from the, the loudest, and everybody goes, you know, it was, I mean, it was so loud. And then there's the humbling where you're just so amazed that God's using your songs, you know. Patrick comes to mind, he was a guy in Maine, and uh, we were supposed to play in Portland, Maine, and then the church burned down two months before the show. So they moved the show 70 miles inland to this other church. Well, half the people who had bought tickets didn't come because it was so much further away. And I met this guy after the show and he goes, I can't believe you came to my church. My church. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he goes into this long story about him and his wife were about to divorce. His kids were addicted to drugs. And he was about to take his own life. And he was laying in the middle of the highway out in the middle of nowhere in Maine. And uh, he had never listened to Christian radio. And our song, By Your Side, came on in his truck. And he said, I got up, I got back in the car, felt like God was talking to me. I drove to the hospital. I came to this church two days later and I believed in Jesus. My wife came the next week, she believed in Jesus. My kids are now in rehab, they believe in Jesus. And you came to my church. And the whole day I was mad at God because I was going, we were supposed to be in Portland. This half the audience didn't come. Why would you have me here? And God's going, well, just so you can meet Patrick.